our children were turning All the ghettos were burning While a voice told the crowd So vast Free at last! Free at last! Thank God Almighty! Free And if you will stand by me, I will stand by you because I am not afraid. I draw the line in the dust and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny and I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. <laughs> Alabama's got me so upset. Tennessee made me lose my rest. Everybody knows about Mississippi gone down. Alabama's got me so upset. Tennessee made me lose my rest. Everybody knows about Mississippi gone down. Can't you see it? I know you can feel it. It's all in the air. I can't stand the pressure much longer. Some Say a prayer. Alabama's got me so upset, and Governor Wallace has made me lose my rest. Everybody knows about Mississippi gone down. Hound dogs on my trail. School children sitting in jail. Be detrimental to your safety to continue this march, and I'm saying that this is an 
Oklahoma Assembly, you are to disperse, you are ordered to disperse, go home or go to your church. This march will not continue. Don't belong here, don't belong there. I've even stopped believing in prayer. say to America is be true to what you said on paper. Somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. Like anybody, I would like to live, but I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Put your but fucking please, hands please, up please, right let now. Let me go do it. I'm going in. Please. Yeah, I'm just when you get up there. On the ground. Ah, sorry. He's He's under arrest. Sure. Sure. I can't move. You could have fucking put him in the car he by now, bro. He's not now. resisting arrest or nothing. I can't move. You, you, you enjoying it. Look at you. Your body language is crazy. You fucking here. bum. Mama. You're fucking Mama. stopping his breathing right there, bro. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. Bro, three minutes, bro, he's not fucking moving. Doing? He's dying. Bro, pull my... Bro, see that he's not. Bro, what you doing? Nicole, what are you doing? Okay, are, are you really a firefighter? Yes, I am okay. from Minneapolis. Okay, bro, you, 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 you think that's okay? Pulse. Check his okay. pulse. See that he's not. Bro, he's not even what fucking moving. Get off of his fucking neck, bro. Check his pulse, Tal. Tal, check his pulse. Tal, check his pulse, bro. Tell me what his pulse is right now. Check his pulse. Bro, he has not moved not one time, bro. He doesn't let up until the 46-year-old's listless body is put on a stretcher. My family is a peaceful family. My family is God-fearing. Yeah, we upset. Peace on the left, justice on the right. 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 I'm tired. I'm tired of pain. Pain you feel when you watch something like that. I'm here to ask you to make it stop. Stop the pain. Stop us from being tired. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I just snatched my heart right out my chest. Like I'm not, I'm an empty shell right now. Honor George and make the necessary changes that make law enforcement the solution and not the problem. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh my God, please don't tell me he's dead. When they do something wrong, teach them what it means to treat people with empathy and respect. George called for help and he was ignored. Please listen to the call I'm making to you now. And the calls ringing out the streets across the world. People of all backgrounds, genders and races have come together to demand change. 
he didn't deserve to die over twenty dollars. I'm asking you, is that what a, is that what a black man is worth? Twenty dollars? Enough is enough. mad as hell. I woke up wanting to see the world burn down yesterday because I'm tired of seeing black men die. I watched a white officer assassinate a black man and I know that tore your heart out. And I know it's crippling. And I have nothing positive to say in this moment because I don't want to be here. So I'm duty bound to be here to simply say that it is your duty not to burn your own house down for anger with an enemy. Now is the time to plot, plan, strategize, organize, and mobilize. The people marching in the streets are telling you enough is enough. Think about America, man. Jacob Blake, Daniel Prude, Philandro Castile, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, Freddie Gray, Tamir Wright. We do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. Dr. Martin Luther King. I still have a dream, deeply rooted in the American dream. That one day, this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Because I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. Go find people who need help. Because I don't think I'm one of them.
At one point, I saw a blind man with a seeing eye dog. It's hard to talk about. But his normal direction, his, his normal way of leaving the building must have been blocked. And I could see him walking around in circles in the panic and the pandemonium. And I grabbed two Wall Street looking guys and shoots and says, get that guy and don't let him go. They grabbed the guy, they grabbed the dog, they got under his arm. They carried that guy four blocks to the subway. They never once let him go. I was so proud that they never ran off on their own and left him behind. Because at that point they could have and everybody would have understood that it was every man for himself. They took that guy and they carried him all the way and I watched them to make sure that they didn't leave him behind because I was going to go get him. They took him, yes sir, no problem. They took him all the way down the stairs. I was very, very proud of the New Yorkers that day. I could help. I wish I could stop it. But they just want me to sweep it up and sit on it till the next time. No more. Uh uh. Now is the time to plot, plan, strategize, organize, and mobilize. And vote for a leader who believes in justice and equality for all Americans. We can win back the soul of America. Can't we? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I have some very sad news for all of you, and that is that Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis. Ah! Martin Luther King dedicated his life to love and to justice between fellow human beings. He died and the cause of that effort. In this difficult day, in this difficult time for the United States, it's perhaps well to ask what kind of a nation we are and what direction we want to move in. For those of you who are black, considering the evidence evidently is that there were white people who were responsible, you can be filled with bitterness and with hatred and a desire for revenge. We can move in that direction as a country in greater polarization, 
black people amongst blacks and white amongst whites filled with hatred toward one another. Or we can make an effort, as Martin Luther King did, to understand and to comprehend and replace that violence, that stain of bloodshed that is spread across our land with an effort to understand compassion and love for those of you who are black and are tempted to fill with be filled with hatred and mistrust of the injustice of such an act against all white people I would only say that I can also feel in my own heart the same kind of feeling I had a member of my family killed, but he was killed by a white man. But we have to make an effort in the United States. We have to make an effort to understand, to get beyond or go beyond these rather difficult times. My favorite poem, my, my favorite poet was Aeschylus. And he once wrote, even in our sleep, pain which cannot forget falls drop by drop upon the heart until in our own de despair against our will comes wisdom through the awful grace of God. What we need in the United States is not division. What we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness, but is love and wisdom and compassion toward one another feeling of justice toward those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white or whether they be black. We can do well in this country. We will have difficult times. We've had difficult times in the past, but we will, and we will have difficult times in the future. It is not the end of violence. It is not the end of lawlessness, and it's not the end of disorder. But the vast majority of white people and the vast majority of black people in this country who want to live together, want to improve the quality of our life, and want justice for all human beings that abide in our land. Dedicate ourselves to what the Greeks wrote so many years ago, to tame the savageness of man and make gentle the life of this world. Let us dedicate ourselves to that and say a prayer for our country and for our people. Thank you very much.